so thank you audience for joining us uh, for joining this uh, talk uh, this is by uh, Ms. Peterson uh, VP of Europe at uh, Lanza Tech and she'll be telling us about capturing carbon and also creating value through captured carbon so you have 15 minutes uh, two minutes before the end I will intervene and give you a kind of a heads up and also remind the audience to ask their questions uh, so please you can start Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about uh, Lanzatech, a company that's 17 years old. We do two things. We capture carbon from industrial emissions. That's what you see on the left hand side there. And we create value in consumer products as well as sustainable fuels, which is what you see on the right hand side there. We do that through a natural biological process of fermentation. This is what it looks like. If you look in the middle of this chart, that's the Lanzatech process. Uh, the engine is a biocatalyst, a naturally occurring bacteria. And on the left hand side of this slide, you see all the areas where we capture carbon, basically from waste, from pollution, from industrial emissions. So the top left hand side there is steel and industrial emissions. We use a mix of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and hydrogen. We get the carbon from the carbon monoxide, the energy from the hydrogen. And we have worked over the past few years to increase the uh, different waste streams that we can use as a feedstock for our process. And as you can see on the bottom left there, we also can use today solid waste like municipal solid waste, plastics waste, agricultural waste. Um, and even wood waste as a feedstock for our process. Of course, when the wastes are solid, uh, there's an additional step of gasification. And we're also working, as you can see in the middle there, on the direct capture of CO2. For example, we have a project in the UK with carbon engineering on using CO2 from direct air capture as a feedstock for our process. In the middle here is the Landstech process. The big vessel in the middle is the bioreactor. That's where the biocatalyst does its magic and basically ferments the carbon in the gases to produce different products. The green and the purple box here just show that while people may think that today we only make ethanol, and we do, we actually have a portfolio where we've modeled about 500 different chemistries and functionalities. So we have a whole family of biocatalysts in the pipeline. Uh, and while today we make ethanol, tomorrow we are looking to make isopropyl alcohol, acetone, um, and monoethylene glycol directly as chemicals from this process. So on the right hand side, you see the applications that we've developed with this process over the past few years. Firstly, Landstech started out as a fuels company, so sustainable aviation fuels, sustainable transport fuels, and that's where most of the material is used today in our commercial plants. In the middle there, you see a sack of protein that is basically spent biomass from the bioreactor, which is sold today in China as a supplement. Uh, to aquaculture, so as a feed supplement, high in protein, and on the bottom right, a number of chemical applications we've developed in consumer goods that I'll tell you about in a moment. Uh, as you know, many of the challenges for companies like Lanzatech is getting across the valley of death, and we did that in 2018. The first plant you see in the top left picture here is in a steel plant in China, Xiaogang Lanzatech Steel, where we are capturing the carbon from the steel off gases and producing about 50,000 tons of ethanol. We call it carbon smart ethanol since 2018. Each of these plants is mitigating about 150,000 tons of CO2. Second plant started up in China, that's the top right picture uh, in April of last year, also producing about 50,000 tons of ethanol. And bottom right, we inaugurated a plant with Seki Sui in Tokyo. That's the first plant that converts municipal solid waste to ethanol using our technology. Um, and bottom left is going to be our first plant in Europe being built by ArcelorMittal, the steel company in Ghent in Belgium, and that will be operational at the end of 2022. In addition to those uh, plants that are either up and running or in process, uh, we are looking to build global capacity. So not just in China and in Europe, but as you can see here, also we've got two projects in India. Uh, in addition to the carbon engineering project in the UK, uh, we're working on plastics waste in Europe and CO2 and H2 sources in the US and other parts of the world. And this is really to build capacity to meet the demand, not just in fuels, but importantly, recently also in chemicals. Many of you know Lanzatech for many years. As I said, we're 17 years old. We started in the fuels business on the left hand side. Uh, we've actually, or the, the a Virgin Atlantic flight has flown from Orlando to London using Lanzatech sustainable aviation fuel. That's our CEO, Jennifer Holmgren, with Richard Branson. Also to say that, of course, um, we did not do this alone. And on the bottom of this slide, you'll see the many partners